So what I'm going to do is just show you one method in Intune that you can set up a staged deployment of Defender for Endpoint Engine uh, and uh, application and so on. So the way that we do that is we go to intune.microsoft.com. Now, obviously, the assumption here is that your machines are, you know, joined to Enter ID. They are all set up in Intune already. We're just going to create a new policy here. Now, we do that in Endpoint Security. We go down to AV over here. And then you'll see down here we can create a new policy. Now we select the platform to be Windows 10, 11, or Windows Server, uh, and beware that you don't want to select the Config Manager. Now again, be careful here because remember this will include any Windows servers that have been onboarded uh, in this environment as well, or with Defender. So just be aware of that. Um, but let's select that. We want to select the profile here of being Defender Update Controls. Let's select that and create the policy now. Prior to this, we need to have identified a number of groups, typically security groups for the audience who we want to deliver this to. So we would need typically a policy for each uh, ring. So let's say we want to create a policy here for ring one who are the you know early adopters. They're the people that are going to see any uh, issues obviously earlier uh, than anybody else. So let's go in and give that a name. Now you'll see here we go in and we select the engine updates, the platform and the security intelligence updates. So we can go in here and let's, for example, make this preview and let's make this preview. And again, let's set this to stage. You can vary all those options there. Go to next. Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to assign this to a particular group. So if we go up here, let's, for example, assign it to our demo group. Now this would be a particular targeted audience is going to get those preview updates early. We would go next. I'll review all this and we would then say so that has created the preview group and then obviously the next thing to do would be to repeat that uh, process again with a different set of uh, targeted users here so in this case we would you know call it defender uh, all so that would be you know uh, I'll call it others so we can have as many rings as you want but remember you'll need a policy for each so we would go in here and in maybe this case what we would do is say look you know we want to have staged we want to have staged and we want to basically have staged there as well and then we would go in and target this at you know a different audience so let's say that we wanted to you know target it to you know our training group or all of our machines in here we could certainly do that uh, again remember you want to keep those audiences separate and you would do that with a particular uh, security group so i would say that that will then update my policies you'll see that i have two policies here and what will happen is is when that policy takes effect on my endpoints the machines that are in the group for the early adopters will get you know those uh, items and the others will then receive that at a later stage now the link for this if you want to go and have a look at this manage the gradual rollout process for microsoft defender updates that's the article from Microsoft that I point you to. I'll put a link uh, in the notes there for you to go and have a look at as well. And remember, there are a couple of different ways of doing this, but I've generally found this to be the quick and easiest way to do it. Again, the way that I did that was in tune, and then I go to Endpoint Security, go into AV, and then create a suitable policy for the updates. And typically, you're going to do that uh, in rings. So again, thank you very much for watching the video.